Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how to create software updates or iOS update especially uh, to push out. In the previous section, we learned about uh, Microsoft updates uh, ring. Now we are going to uh, learn about uh, update policies for iOS. So here you have the two different um, experience. One would be the client side experience, which is the, the end user's experience. Other one would be the how best you can configure. Uh, to begin with this, um, I'm going to configure it the first uh, at the Intune level and then we would you know go for the client side experience configuration now I can give here a proper name uh, when you try to create here policies so you can create multiple policies and you can create them and you can assign to your different uh, Azure AD groups altogether because um, some users might need a different experience and uh, or maybe updates to be pushed based on um, your requirement altogether so let's create one only one policy in this demo L later point if you want you can create um, based on your own requirement a different policies so i'm just giving here uh, for the demo ios ios update and once i've created here i can give here meaningful description um, but i'm just giving the same description you can go to the settings uh this is where the settings are uh, you have the option to install the latest ios updates uh it's uh it's all about the schedule uh, information and the start time, then ta end time and the time zone and the days. So let's say I can configure here Saturdays and Sunday, um, all these information, and then I can choose a time zone of that specific region or that specific uh, devices which are going to target. For example, if the users on PST, I would be selecting the PST time zone, or if the ISD, I would be selecting the ISD time zone. So, or if you are uh, going for the UTC time zone, you can go for the UTC time zone, and then you can select the time um, which you want you know install overnight, maybe because you don't want the uh, devices to be updated over the when the when the user is trying to use it so we would normally schedule at the midnight let's say uh, maybe a 1 a.m. to I wanted to go for uh, end time maybe between 3 a.m. so between these three hours the um, the updates gonna download and it's gonna uh, install on that specific device so this up you're gonna configure the server side uh, but if you can you know look at the client side experience or the end user experience these specific settings has been moved to uh, restrictions uh, oh, which is nothing but here if you can you know look at here uh, you need to go to the uh, device configuration once you choose the device configuration you can go to the profiles and create a profile uh, and give the whatever the meaningful name for example uh, I'm just giving here the same and I'm gonna choose as the iOS specific and now you have an options for restrictions these are the device restrictions which I'm gonna talk about it so these specific restrictions are we, we already talked about in other sections all of these are possible options now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the uh, uh, general I'm going to explore one more time uh, the specific settings like the visibility of the driver uh, visibility of the uh, this specific update say example if I want to configure this specific setting like you know the uh, delay visibility of the software updates is a 30 and then I just click on OK OK and I'm gonna apply this specific setting once I've configured this specific setting I need to assign for a specific devices so let's say I wanted to assign this for all I was specific devices in my case I have already as a group called all I was specific group so I'm just assigning this and uh, later point I can save this so what happens is uh, whoever the users are part of this specific group for example this specific one user is gonna affect it with that uh, end user experience and similarly the configuration whatever we are talking about the server side once you configure this like by clicking OK and then create you need to assign the specific policy also definitely so assigning this policy at least to one of the uh, one of the assignments so click on assignment and assign the specific setting to one of the groups so I'm just gonna use the same group because um, because of the uh, flexibility that I have uh, chosen here uh, but in your case if you have multiple AD groups you can choose that uh, simply assign that specific group and click Save that's gonna actually apply for the end users the specific settings this is how you're gonna push to the users uh, any of the updates overnight 